All right, guys, Kazoo71 here. I'm going to show you how to tame a spinosaur, or a spino, as everyone calls them, including me. Someone asked me to do a video on a low-level spino tame. So there is a level 30 right there. I'm on the island. This is my single-player map. Now, just so you know, I have my settings tweaked a little bit on my single-player so that taming is a little quicker than normal. I've been playing art for so many years. I don't care. I don't care if people think it's cheating or not. That's just how I do it. <coughs> so... What I'm going to do is I'm clearing out the area around the Spinosaur. So I don't want to just tame, tame a Spino. Now normally what I would do with a Spino is I would chase the Spino down. I would shoot it with some um, shock and tranquilizer darks and a long neck rifle. But I'm not going to do that because someone wants to know how to tame a low level. So I'm going to show you how to do this. Now I'm going to use a crossbow and trank arrows. So the easiest way to do it is to try to, to trap the Spino and stabilize it. Now, there's some really easy ways to trap a Rex and some other dinos, but a Spino is a little different. So, um, it's a longer dino. It doesn't fit in smaller areas. Like, you can use four dino gates to trap a Rex. Heck, you can use four dino gates to trap a Giga. But you can't do it to trap a Spino, at least not that I know of. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm using nine stone foundations. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set them up in a square. And then I am going to grab my... Um, stone gateways is what i'm going to use and some stone walls now a spino like a rex can walk over a two high wall so you need to have three high so the only problem with this is i got to do a two high wall to get him in and then once he's in the trap the rest of the sides will be three high and he won't be able to get out so basically what i'm doing is i'm doing these uh gateways around the whole thing and i'm gonna i'm using stand on my rg just because it's really dangerous around this area so but what i'm gonna do is I'm going to do three high all the way around except for where the, the ramp's going to be. And my ramp's going to be too high. Now the plan is once he gets in the trap is I'm going to fly around to the too high side and drop a couple of walls on that side so he can't get out. At least two. Um, I could put one in the middle because he can't fit through a one space. So if I get the one in the middle I might be able to be quick enough to stop him from getting out. So but it's like I said it's got to be a three high wall all the way around except for where the ramp is. This is my guess. Now, Spinos are very, very, very fast. So, f way faster than a Rex. So, if you're running in, i um, guessing if I go too fast or I run the Spino in, he'll jump over the trap. I've never done this before. This is the first time I'm ever going to try this. So, we're going to see how this works. But I think I can get him in here if I go slow enough. And then I can block that wall off once he's in. So, like I said, I'm going to put ramps on the other side. Not going to show you guys a whole long string of video or how long it took me to do this, but I'm just going to show you guys when we do it. It's actually pretty quick, just building the trap. I had to find a, a Spino. It took me quite a while to find a low-level one. First one I found is a 160. So um, the first six minutes of this video is just going to be me showing you guys how to tame a low-level one because somebody asked me to. And then the last four minutes, I'm going to show you guys. I'm going to go tame that 160 because if this trap works, that's what I'm going to do. So there we go. We got the trap, so I'm going to flash forward here. I had to go find the spinal. It wandered off a bit. So I'm going to snip at it one time or just get its attention. Let it snip at me. And then it's going to chase me into the trap. And like I said, I don't want to go too fast because if I go too fast, it'll just jump right over the trap. That's my thought. I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure I'm correct. So let's find out. So I'm going to slow down right here. I'm going to let it get in the trap. There we go. It is in the trap. So now I'm going to grab a wall. And I should have put them in my hotkeys. That's what you should do. Put them in like spot 9 or 10 or somewhere in there so you're ready to go. And that's what we're going to try to do. I'm going to try to slap down a wall in there and try to block them in. So here we go. Let's see if this works. He looks like he might be stuck. If I can get this wall down, I'm good to go. All I got to do is get one. And I didn't get it. And see what I'm saying? He can get out of the two. So because I missed the wall, he got out of the two sides. So now i got to get him back in. Let's do this again. Not too bad. He's not fighting anything dangerous, so he's not going to get hurt. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come get me. Get, leave the fish alone. Come get me. Oh, I got a wall down. See, I got a wall. It looks like on the left side, but not the right. So um, I'm just going to give up the wall idea. Um, I, I could go around and slap the walls down. And when I do the 160, you guys will see I'll do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and trank him because if it's focused on me, it's not going to jump over that wall. And I'm hoping it's not uh, smart enough to find the gap in the wall and get away. So like I said, I'm using a crossbow. This is an ascendant level crossbow. So you might not have an ascendant. It might take you more trank arrows. 
and I'll show you in just a second what you need to do to trank these guys but we're using trank arrows you learn at level 21 and the crossbow is a little bit higher but there we go Spino is down now I'm using um, prime meat on this guy because it's it's the best thing you can use uh, not the best thing but it's the thing you're gonna use early on in game if you have it um, and if you can kill some stuff you can get some prime meat so it's gonna be hard for you to find mutton early game it's gonna be hard to make kibble early game so I'm just gonna throw some prime meat in there prime fish meat is better so there are some salmon in this river if you can kill a big salmon and get some prime fish meat you'll be good to go I'm gonna throw 50 narcotics in there now here's what you need from the wiki this is a level 30 so if you want to pause it here and take a look you can see exactly what you need and the saddle you learn at level 71 and here is what you need to craft a saddle so there you go guys and then we're just going to show you this for a second and i'm gonna flash forward to when this thing's tamed i had to you see it's getting a little dark i had to clear the air some raptors came around killed those guys and not too bad it wasn't it wasn't as bad as i thought it was going to be and there we go that's pretty much it guys so if you just want to see how to tame a low level spino like you asked me to if you're watching this there you go that's how i did it uh, it works pretty good um, you can chase them around like I've always done, but if you want to build a trap, this is a pretty easy trap. It doesn't take too much stuff. You could do it out of wood. Um, they're not going to destroy the wood quick enough for you to not be able to knock it out. So, But there you go. There's a level 30 Spino. If you guys want to keep watching, I'm going to go tame this 170, and we're going to try something else with my trap. So here I am. I got the trap laid down, and on top of the ramps, what I did was I put the layer of walls. So what I'm hoping is, because the Spino can jump over one or two, he can jump over the one wall and into the trap. But what we're going to find out here is when he jumps, he clears the trap. So he's like long jumping the whole trap. And so he's uh, these guys can jump pretty far. I didn't know this. And it's uh, not really a jump. It's a, a kind of a spring by using the, the ramp going up. It's the forward momentum is just going to carry him over the trap. And you'll see. So here we go. And get his attention. He got distracted a second. Like I said, I have one wall of uh, stone walls on top of the ramp. And I'm going to look back, and he goes in and right over the trap. So it looked like he walked right through the wall, but he actually walked over the wall. So we're going to try this again. Let's see if I just maybe go slower if he'll fall into it. So let's slow down a little bit. And walked right out of the trap again. So that wall on top of the ramp does not work i just wanted to try it and see if it would work but uh it, it's not a good idea you need to have the walls ready to put down after he's in the trap or you can make a bigger trap and do three highs and three high ramp but i wouldn't recommend that you need a lot more pieces for that so i'm trying it one more time but he's not following me he got distracted by a trike so here's what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna land i'm gonna take that top row out that i put on top of the ramp and I'm using uh, super structures and I have the demo gun. So I'm just going to demo it real quick. There we go. And now we're going to go back here and get his attention as soon as he's done with that trike and put him back in the trap. And then I'm going to try to throw these walls down. He's killing the Dimorphodon. Okay, come on. Leave those alone. Leave the copy alone. Oh, you don't want the copy. Come on. Come get the big bird. You want this juicy bird. Come here. Come on, dude. That's just a copy. There's no meat on that. Now I'm putting my walls in my hotkey. Ready to go. Here comes the Spino. I'm going to slow down, get him in the trap. Now that he's in, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to try to put these walls on the top real quick. Let's see if this works. So you got that middle one. Once I get the middle one down, I'm good to go. I don't have to worry about the rest. So now I can just trank him at will. So guys, I'm going to land. I'm going to use my um, long neck rifle, some shock and tranquilizer darts on this one. Because this is on a low level. I'm not showing somebody how to do it. I'm just going to knock this sucker out. <laughs> it's a 160. I can't believe I got a 160 when I found one. What I did was I boosted the levels to 10 instead of 5. So the max you can get is 300. And then I lowered it back to five and I forgot to do a dino wipe. So there's still some high level dinos on my single player. So this one should go down pretty quick. And then the best the best thing to use for these guys, if you pause it on the other screen, was extraordinary kibble. Um, so exceptional kibble, excuse me. So we're just going to throw that in there. That's the yellow ones. Flash forward a little bit. But if you guys, if this was a helpful video, if you liked it, please like the video. Please subscribe. Please leave comments. If there's anything else you'd like for me to try to do for you and do a video on, let me know. And I'll do it if I can. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.